okay, part two, right after, I'm filming this right after part one, like right after, I just hit stop and play, okay, good, so, part two, so I switched over to a new doctor, um, all these doctors, I just realized this, all these doctors have really hard names to pronounce, I don't know, I don't even know how to say the second doctor's name. The first one was, you know, no, I'm not saying that. I know how to say the first one. I don't know how to say the second one. And I know how to say the third one because I was like, this guy, I'm probably going to stick with. I should know how to say his name. <laughs> um, anyways, so we switched over to this new doctor, but, um... Before we switched over to that doctor, the previous doctor had already scheduled an MRI for me. So I went January 16th. I told you, steel trap. Um, January 16th was my first MRI. I made a video on it. I'm not going to go into detail now. But um, then Corona happened. Yay. So I actually did not meet with that doctor until April 20th and I it was over zoom he kind of went over everything he just started at the beginning I'm sorry I keep getting notifications um he started at the beginning of everything went over everything with me because he was like I don't know what the other doctor told you so he went over everything with us again and then he sent me a whole term monitor to do for 30 days so I did that. That was great. It was so much fun. Um, I just did another Holter monitor. Um, you you can kind of see. There's a red welt right here. Right here. Yeah, it's great. Um, but I got to take it off today, so, you know. I'm happy, but also I'm still in pain. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, um... Yeah, I did the 30-day Holter monitor, and then... Did I have another appointment with him? I... Guys, this is why you don't do impromptu things. I need to do some research. I must have had a... I do not remember. Because I know somehow I found out that he didn't find anything on the whole term monitor. But I don't know if it was online I figured that out or if there was another appointment that I'm completely forgetting. I know I never met him in person, though. I don't know. And also, the MRI, they didn't get good pictures. So, I don't think I ever said the name of the hospital. And I'm not going to now. I'm just trying to think back, did I say the name of the hospital? Because I should not have. Because I don't want to throw them under the bus. Um, but I shouldn't say hospital. Doctor's office. Um, I always say I'm going to the hospital and people are like, what? I'm like, it's a doctor's office. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's a doctor's office in the hospital. Um, <laughs> anyways. Um, but... I don't even remember what I'm talking about. You guys, I'm so sorry. I I need I need to figure out how to edit these videos or hire my brother too. I could I don't know. He'd probably be happy to do it for free, but you know, I might pay him anyways. Doesn't matter. Why am I talking to you about this? Um So my mom tried to call in to get appointments for genetic testing because they said that that was the next step. Did I meet that doctor? I am just remembering I went in for genetic testing and all they did was go over my family tree and then didn't get anything else. And that was at the previous doctor. But I don't think I ever met my actual doctor. I do not remember you guys. I am so sorry. Um... The point is, she tried to get us in for 
um, it wasn't genetic testing. She tried to get him for a stress test. And they said, yeah, it's kind of all a mess with corona. We'll call you back. And they didn't call her back for quite a while. Um, so, before they eventually called her back, she, we got, um, involved with the HCMA, which is, um, the organization of HCM. I cannot tell you what the A stands for. But it, it was a Facebook group, and the leader of that, we called her. And she talked to us, and she was like, this doctor is not good. She was like, if they did not get the pictures in the M that they wanted in the MRI, and, like, I don't know. Basically, she told us, this doctor is not good. There is one in your area that I have met that I know is good. I recommend you go to him. So, off we went to get an appointment with this new doctor and after we went to the first appointment with him it re it went really really well you guys I love my doctor now <laughs> and um I, he knows what he's talking about he's very familiar with the HCM which the other doctors they obviously have heard of it but I feel like they hadn't dealt with it enough, whereas this one, he's like the head of the HCM. Um, cannot think of the word. Guys, I need to do school. <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen next year when I'm not in school. I'm just, I'm going to be so stupid. <laughs> we'll deal with that when it happens. Um, but yeah. So... Um, then after we met with the, after that first appointment, we got a call back from the other doctor. My mom was like, yeah, we're at a different doctor now, but thank you. So he, this doctor, I don't remember when we actually met him, but I know he scheduled me for three appointments, three days in a row. That was fun. So, the first appointment was the stress test, the second day was an MRI, and the third day was just the sit-down to go over the results of the tests I had done the previous days. So, um, stress test, what fun that was. It was not fun, if you, if you did not pick that up. It was not fun. Um, okay, I'm gonna quick tell you about the stress test and then part three. Um... So, stress tests, um, it was not fun. They kept pushing down on my ribs. You know, I had a little, I had a little tenderness in that area after. Um, you know, <laughs> not pleasant, but, um, also, my record on a treadmill, walking, can I just say, I was walking. I was like, I kept marching. Which <laughs> the nurse was like, maybe this is because you're going so slowly is that you're you're marching. And I was like, this is just how I walk. I literally I slap my feet down on the floor. I don't walk normal, <laughs> normally. Um, but um, yeah, <laughs> my record walking on a treadmill is four ten. Did not go over that. So yeah, beat that record. <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, so a stress echo, I realized I didn't explain what it is, so it's basically like, they do a echocardiogram, then they put you on a treadmill, see how long you can last, 410, and then as soon as you start feeling symptoms, or a little bit after, as soon as you can't go anymore, they say, okay, jump onto the table again. We're doing an echo. So that was fun. Um, so that was the first day. And I will tell you a little bit about the MRI the next day. And then the sit-down appointment, you know, is not that much to say, I think. But 
Hopefully these are interesting and not just me talking for 10 minutes, but you know, you guys can exit out of the video. You know. It's a free country, y'all. Okay. Be right back.